my golf, as I've said in previous video, I think, pretty sure my head gasket is gone. We're using up a lot of coolant. And if I start the engine, I notice it sounds a lot better, but there is a lot of smoke. Clouds and clouds of smoke. Now, obviously the car hasn't run, hasn't been driven for about two and a half years. So there will be condensation in the exhaust, but the longer you run it, the worse that gets. So um, let's, let's turn her off for just a moment. Now, if you have been a long-term viewer of my channel, you'll see, I'll put a link up here somewhere. Uh, you'll see that I also had head gasket failure in my K-series powered midget. And those engines are known for head gaskets. Apparently so are these. I've not got too much experience with these really at the moment. We used a bottle of steel seal uh, to fix it. Wasn't too sure if it would work. It turns out it did. And we're gonna try it again on this. So I've got my magic blue fluid my test fluid and my sucky pump thing. And uh, I'll explain again, fill the blue fluid up to that dotted line on the bottle and you put this on the expansion tank up here in the reservoir with the cap off obviously. Suck a load of steam out. You have to wait till the coolant's hot. Suck a load of steam out. And if the fluid turns from blue, and you can see it's blue, uh, to like a green or a yellow, uh, then you know your head gasket has gone. It's basically measuring carbon monoxide in the cooling system. So I think the best thing to do is warm this up. I won't run it too long, I don't think. I think just enough that we're just starting to see steam. I think if I take the cap off while I do it, I can just monitor that. <coughs> and then we will do a sniff test. Once we've done the sniff test, I'll put the steel seal in, run it. I think he says we've run for like 20 minutes. Idle for 30 minutes. Turn off and allow it to cool completely. So probably what I'll do is run it and then tomorrow morning, I will do another sniff test and we'll see just how well it works. Right, we already have steam coming out of the reservoir. It's only been like a couple of minutes. So anyway, I've got my blue fluid, let's see happens. Yeah, it's not going as quickly as I thought it might, but I think, I don't know if you can see, that is now beginning to change colour. That's definitely turning green. There we go. Yeah, that is officially now green. Now actually turning yellow. That is pretty conclusive. You can see before and after, massive difference in colour. Um, so yeah, head gasket gone. So, I'm um, wondering if my reservoir may be a bit full for putting steel seal in. I might suck some out quickly. Hopefully we've got enough. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's get rid of the bottle. So yeah, basically, control engine's cold, remove cap, turn on heater, start engine, run the vehicle up to temperature. And idle for 30 minutes. Yeah, so I might have to move the car out once on that, but yeah, might as well put the cap on. The level's still a bit low after doing all of that, but should be good enough. There we go. And luckily I bought some extra fuel for this, so uh, yeah, I start the engine up and uh, heat her on, let her run for a little bit. We're about half an hour, half an hour, we're about 15 minutes halfway through the uh, steel seal test. And I think there is less smoke, but we'll give her the whole, the whole half hour. Uh, and then we'll let it cool down and then we'll do another sniff test. Let it cool down so everything can settle, top up the coolant get up to temperature again, then do another sniff test. Been another day, 
because once the engine has been run for half an hour, you have to let the engine cool down again. And I got busy yesterday, so couldn't wait much longer. So, I need to check the coolant level, because it may have dropped. Oh, that cap is now really tight. That was easy. There we go. Alright, um, what's our water level like? It's a little bit low. It's a little bit low. Uh, I am still filling up with some water rather than cooling at the moment. Go on a weight stand to freeze. Hopefully that'll be enough. Hopefully that'll take too much. So, let's have a look. more than I thought but we're at a good level there so I now need to run it on the engine again so we've got steam coming out and we will do another sniff test to see if there's any more uh, exhaust combustion gases I think they refer to it as but basically it's measuring carbon monoxide it's been a few minutes and we haven't got some smoke but or steam it's a bit more like condensation so Quite promising and we haven't really got we have got some steam coming out so let's give this a go that looks to me like it's changing already yep I don't know Sometimes I do this, sometimes I think this is this stuff's changing and it's just the air bubbles coming through and making it look like it. I don't know, that's that's still blue. Wow. I'm gonna say that's worked. I might leave it a little bit longer to be honest and go again with the same same fluid because as much as I do rate this stuff I, I wasn't this one was pretty bad so um, let's let it warm up a little bit longer um, and then we'll, we'll try again okay it's definitely more steam coming out so let's get a conclusive answer to this see whether steel seal has actually fixed my head gasket again well I think we can safely say that's worked again steel seal has fixed yet another head gasket for one of Mark's wheels No way that's green. I'd still call that blue, quite clearly. Um, yeah. I'll put a link in the description box below if you want to go and buy some steel seal, but I, um, that's two cars, two cars now that have had rather severe head gasket failure and been fixed by a bottle of steel seal. So thank you very much for watching and uh, I will see you next time.